What is the lateral area of the square pyramid? Can you read that? That square pyramid, the word to the left of pyramid, is identifying the base. Okay, so the base of the pyramid is a square. Okay, what that means, and this helps us out tremendously, is that all four sides are equal in length. Because we'll need this information here coming up. The next thing you want to go do is go to the formula chart and look up lateral area for a pyramid. So, which is one half times P, which is perimeter times L slant height. I'll write down that formula for the lateral area of a pyramid is L is equal to one half perimeter times slant height and I went ahead and wrote this up here for you slant height slant height is the height here of this triangle and notice how the triangle uh, is slanted in it's slanted toward the uh, the tip the point of the pyramid okay so that slant it so that's why it's slant the height of the triangle and because this is a square, see all of these triangles, there's four triangles, okay? One, so we got one out to the right, we've got this one out front, one to the side, and one in the back. They're all the same. If you find the perimeter, then you would have the base for all four triangles, and then all you have to do is multiply the height of one of them. And we know that we have a square base, so the perimeter is 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6, which is um, 4 times 6, that's 24. And the slant height, we don't know. Like this is already kind of set up nice. So this piece right here is the vertical height. You need that now for volume. Okay, uh, if you don't have the vertical height for volume, you have to find it. But we already know the vertical height is 4, and so if we go ahead and connect Actually, this is called the apothem, right? From the center of the figure drawn to a point on the side, this is the apothem. Well, since we don't really have to worry about finding, doing a lot of extra work, all we have to do is know one side here and, and take half of that. So if I take, make myself a note, that six um, divided by two is equal to three, that's this piece here. So change colors here. So three is the length right here. Three for here to here. Okay. And now we have us a right triangle where the slant height is part of that right triangle. We can find that slant height by using Pythagorean theorem. If you're trying to find C, then, then all you have to do is square root the square and then add the legs. Okay. So four squared plus three squared okay and that's going to produce that's going to equal to five well now we know the slant height is five all right so that'll go right here for l and let's go ahead and let this remind you okay this is the l slant height is the l so coming back over to here i like to just go ahead and work with a decimal here so uh, 0 0.5 times 24 Okay, times my slant height, which is five, okay? Round to the nearest whole number. So if you have a decimal, round up or down to get a whole number, okay? Now finish this up. 